Hello, hello, hello! I am Cheesy Overlord 27, and today is Twisted Story Tuesday! Which is gonna be another thing I'm gonna try starting in, uh, regularly. So every Tuesday, I will be telling my version of a story. Uh, today, I have a scary story, as you can tell from my voice. So, I've told the story maybe five times before. Every time someone heard it, they said, Okay, we're done from the first part. <laughs> Let's move on. So, um, I'm going to tell you, and if you who um, uh, watch the whole video... Oh, you are a lot braver than most people. Also, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of the videos I do. So do it! Do it! So, uh, here's uh, how the story goes. <clears throat> One day, he, in the very far a place in California, there was an old farming couple near the beach. They one day heard... So they assumed it was just some mold or raw wood that's creaking. So they checked the barn. There was no mold. So they went back inside, do their regular work like usual. Then they heard the creaking again. So they checked the house. Maybe the house was creaking. But there was no sign of it either. So then when they got back to the field, they noticed there's this one wooden pole in the middle of the ocean. They haven't seen it before, and it was strange, and so they just ignored it and went back to work. And it was about night time when, so they are just finishing up, but then when they looked at the one pole again, it, they realized... It wasn't a wooden pole. It was a crow's nest. And that pole moved so close, it showed the entire ship. So, oh, out of their curiosity, they went out to see seeing if there was any treasure or anything like that. So they went up the plank, but then they heard another creaking. They heard a snap. And the farmer's wife fell into the ocean, eaten by piranhas. And each piranha seek their teeth into her flesh. Blood ran out of the body, he filling the ocean with her blood. So, well now the farmer has, is a widow. So he's going to go inside to look for funeral money because he knows those are expensive. So he goes inside, but then he hears the creaking again. Then he hears a snap, and the whole boat is collapsing around him and slowly going back into the ocean where he was never seen again. But then, after that happened... There was <laughs> the plan worked, and then a shadow, a figure from the basement of the house, creepily came out, and he said it worked for the final time. So he took all the stuff out of the basement where he was hiding, and starting to unpack in the house. But then he heard, <laughs> so he checked outside to hear, see what the sound was, and the storage container next to the barn disappeared. So he looked around, on saying, um, like looking around to see if anyone stole it. So he went to the next door neighbor, or like a few miles away, and they. And he asked, did you hear a, a weird crunching sound? And they said, what are you talking about? So he went back. He's a little nervous now. But then he notices the barn's gone. The entire barn disappeared without a trace. So now he's nervous. So he's going to go back inside, grab all of his stuff, and leave. But when he got inside the house, he heard... 
If so, he couldn't think of anything that could have disappeared then, but then he remembered the basement he was hiding in. So he went in there, he went over to the doors to check if he was there, but there was just a huge hole. Going inside, grabbing all of his stuff, and running for freedom. But then he heard... The ground slowly opens up underneath him. He falls and saying, No! And then you hear, <laughs> At that moment, he fell on a very pointy stalagmite, died, bleeded for three hours. Then the cracks sealed. And then that was the end of my story. So fear the haunted wreckage. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and you are very brave if you have watched this far, because it soon will happen to you. <laughs> Goodbye.